Sicilian Defense, Open, Nadorf, Anti-English Variation, 7.BG5H68.BH4G59.BG3 BG7. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but black was on another level. The middle game battle was fairly even. Opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The Sicilian defense controls the d4 square with c pawn. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center to prepare for a d4 pawn push, where the knight will recapture if black captures on d4. d6 opens up the light squared bishop and prevents white from pushing the pawn to e5 after black eventually plays nf6. d4 offers to trade the d pawn for the c pawn, giving up a center pawn for more active pieces. CXD4 gives black two central pawns versus one central pawn for white. NXD4 recaptures the pawn and activates the knight in return for having one central pawn versus black's two central pawns. NF6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks the undefended E4 pawn. NC3 defends the E4 pawn and starts to develop on the queen side. A6 prepares the queen side pawn advance B7 B5 and also prevents white from playing the bishop or knight to b5. b3 supports the strong d4 knight in the center. And g4 attacks the bishop on e3. bg5 moves the attacked bishop to a square where it pins the e7 pawn. h6 attacks the bishop on g5, forcing it to retreat. bh4 retreats the attacked bishop and maintains the pin on the e7 pawn. g5 attacks h4 bishop and forces it to g3. BG3 retreats the bishop to a square where it defends white's kingside and controls the e5 square. BG7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. This kicks an opposing knight. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is the last book move. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This threatens to win a bishop. It is best. This stops the opponent from being able to win a bishop. It is excellent. This allows the opponent to develop a piece while also winning a tempo on a knight. It is a mistake. This is an equal trade. It is good. Takes back. This threatens to reveal an attack on a knight. It is best. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This prevents the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a knight. It is best. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is good. This is the strongest option. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to kick a knight. It is a mistake. This blocks the attack on a pawn that could have been captured. It is best. This overlooks an opportunity to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. That's fine. It is good. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is good. This overlooks a better way to defend a pawn that was under attack. It is a mistake. This is a fair move. It is good. Very precise. It is best. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is excellent. This misses an opportunity to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. Takes back. It is excellent. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This misses an opportunity to increase a bishop's scope by moving it to a better square. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to kick a knight. It is best. This threatens to reveal an attack on a pawn. There was only one good move in that position. This allows the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is a mistake. 
this overlooks an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is an inaccuracy. The game is still close to equal, but white lost their advantage. It is an inaccuracy. This wins a tempo by threatening a bishop and forcing it to move away. It is best. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a mistake. There was only one good move there. This overlooks an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a bishop. It is a miss. Recaptures. It is best. This move puts the knight on a safer square. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is best. That's fine. It is good. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. This is the only good move. This threatens to kick a knight. This stops the opponent from being able to win a queen. It is a great move. This misses a much better move. It is a mistake. This moves the queen to safety. It is good. This ignores an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. This permits the opponent to kick a knight. It is a mistake. This kicks an opposing knight. This is the only move that works. This was a game-changing move, giving black a winning position. It is a great move. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a queen. It is an inaccuracy. This moves the bishop to safety. This is the only good move. This threatens to win material. It is a great move. Right on target. It is best. This captures a vulnerable pawn. It is best. This wins a tempo by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. It is best. This move puts the queen on a safer square. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This loses a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. That was a free pawn. It is best. This move puts the queen on a safer square. This threatens to reveal an attack on a knight. It is good. This kicks an opposing bishop. It is excellent. This wins time by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. It is excellent. This attacks a bishop, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is excellent. This wins time by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. It is excellent. This wins a bishop. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This misses a great but hard to find move. It is a miss. Equality is within reach, but this move doesn't get there. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This overlooks an opportunity to block an attack on a vulnerable queen. It is a miss. Takes back. It is best. This wins time by threatening a rook and forcing it to move away. It is good. This is the way to win a bishop. It is best. This defends the attacked pawn. It is excellent. Recaptures. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. That was a free bishop. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This moves the knight to safety. It is excellent. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This is the start of the end game and black is winning. It is good. This is a fair move. It is good. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is good. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. A very strong play. It is excellent. This steps away from the checking rook. It is best. This moves the bishop to a better location allowing it to control more squares. It is excellent. This defends a knight that was under attack and had no defenders. It is good. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. Giveaway one player was winning,
but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but Black was on another level. The middle game battle was fairly even. This wins a night. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but Black was on another level. The middle game battle was fairly even.